everyone, Amy Love here, and I am here today to share with you some things that I created today. Um, I was off of work and I had an opportunity to just play in my craft room and I enjoyed every bit of it. So I decided that I would make some <clears throat> embellishments for journal pages is really what I did, but some of them got a little elaborate as they do. So. <laughs> I made a couple of these like snippet clusters and um, they might be a little big for a journal page but I think they're just really pretty so I did make three of these and I used for the base um, this flower from an angel dream craft trim let me see this is the one I used so for the big um, snippet clusters, I guess we'll call them. I did use this on those. And then I used uh, a bunch of snippets in the background. I used some of this beautiful leaf trim, which is from this trim right here. Absolutely love it. And then um, these snippets, I actually used all that I had left of that lace, so there's nothing left. Um, this beautiful leaf comes from this trim that I adore. These leaf trims make me so happy. So that's tucked right there. This dangle trim is this one right here. So that is just hanging on the bottom. And then I popped on a bulb pen because you can also get bulb pens at Angel Dream Crafts and one of these beautiful angel charms that my friend Julie Kay sent me. So that is on that one. Just love it. And then I made this one using basically the same trim. So I put the big one on the back and I used the leaf trim. I used just some snippets of her trims that I tucked in there. And this flower right here comes off of this which is such a great snippety snip trim. So that is what that flower base is. And then I just hung a charm off of it too. Isn't it cute? I love the snippet clusters. So here is the third one that I made of that. And I used this part of the leaf trim, which is, y'all, I'm just making a mess here. Okay, so that, the little leaves come off of this trim also. So those are right there. I used um, my favorite dangle trim, which is this guy, is hanging right there. And I just, they're just cute. They turned out really cute. So um, pardon me, I feel a sneeze coming on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. So there's the little snippet clusters. And then I decided I wanted to make some like little page um, hidden paper clips. So let me just clip this guy on here. It's so cute. So for this one, of course I used more of this leaf trim, the big one and the little one. And then I cut little flowers <clears throat> um, off of here and here. <laughs> She has so many great snippety snip flowers. And then I just layered them up and put a um, little rhinestone in the middle. And then when you flip it over, I used my favorite dangle trim. I used uh, the leaf trim again. I used some rolled roses from Angel Dream Crafts and white and cream. And a white bow from Angel Dream Crafts. Isn't that pretty? I love how they just clip on the page. I think they're adorable. And then here is another one. Let me get it clipped on. So for this one, I snipped out some flowers and leaves and then I popped on her little acrylic flowers in white that have the rhinestones in the middle. Aren't they so pretty? And then on this side, I used one of her gorgeous um, flowers. Isn't that so pretty? I just love it. I think that's so pretty on the top of a page. I was thinking you, you could put them on the side of the page and they're almost like a tab too. So I thought that was really cute. And then I created this one. And so what I did was not pay attention when I hung the dangle. 
I was expecting it, of course, to maybe <clears throat> go like this, but that's not how it is. <laughs> the opening's over here, so I got a little ahead of myself and didn't pay attention when I glued it on. But that side's adorable. It has one of those leaves and it has... Um, I cut up one of her mesh laces just to add texture to the back of, uh, of a, a bunch of these. And then I put some rolled roses, ribbon roses, right there. And then on this side, it kind of has to hang off to the side <laughs> because I didn't think that through. But it's still cute. It's still pretty. And then I, I put one of her beautiful uh, flowers in the white right there. So it's cute. It's still, it's cute hanging off the side, I think. Adorable. So I enjoyed making those. Let me get those laid out here. And then I decided I wanted like some uh, side or, or page toppers. But I think they're just so cute on the side. This one just has this beautiful eyelet on the side. And then on this side... I used the gorgeous uh, pleated tool trim that I put on almost every project and then also um, the ribbon roses in the white and cream and I just think it's so pretty so there's that one and then I made um, one more of those and on this one I used where is that lace that I used here it is this is the lace that I used to cover the whole uh, piece of cardstock and then I took this edging and I pleated it up right there and then I put the beautiful rhinestone cup chain on it which you can get at Angel Dream Crafts also and then on this side I used that beautiful leaf trim this guy and I just put two of the leaves on here and I popped in the middle one of the flowers. I snippity snipped out of the snip, snippy lace and I put one of these cameos. And then I dangled one of her beautiful um, like floating heart charms off of it. I just think it's so cute. Isn't it cute? I love it. So I had a really good time creating these. Um, I'm looking forward to getting them uh, in a journal um, although I feel like some of it's a little chunky, but you know, of course, if I'm going to make a journal, it's going to be chunky. <laughs> so I would love it if you would leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And you can find a link to all of these great, uh, products at Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy. The link is below. And I also have a link below to all of the amazing, talented people on the team and uh, make sure you go check them out. They're all so great. And I hope that you're all doing well and finding some time to create. And I will see you guys on the next one.